Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video is a review for uh, Phenom X. That's how I've been saying it. I think that's kind of what it looks like, uh, Phenom X. Uh, this is an image comic, and you will find, uh, I think, the creative team. Very interesting. If you see the art, you can kind of maybe take a quick guess of at somebody who's part of the creative team, uh, just based on a likeness. At least I feel that it's a likeness. Uh, but yeah, this book is written by John Leguizamo. Yes, that John Leguizamo. Uh, Aaron Rappaport, Joe Misiek, and Damien Slattery. With art by Chris Batista, inks by Sabrina Cintron, and colors by uh, Christopher Sotomayor, with letters by End World Design. So yeah, well, well, let's talk about the premise, and then we'll actually get into, into the book. Uh, wrongfully imprisoned and desperate to regain his freedom, Max Gomez agrees to become a subject in an underground government experiment. When the trial gives him a phenomenal shape-shifting ability, Gomez learns that his new freedom, in quotes, requires surviving a superpower war fought on the streets of New York City. Um, so when I first saw this book, uh, I was a little cynical uh, just because I think stuff like this feels like, oh, this is this is a movie pitch, right? You have you have uh, John Leguizamo, who is, you know, very, very known actor working on a project like this. Uh, we've had some other uh, actors work on comic books like uh, Keanu Reeves working with Boom Studios. Uh, we also have Amelia Clark working on Mom, uh, Mother of Madness. Uh, so, you know, I, was, I went in, but I wanted to go in and just give this book a chance. And I'm glad I did. Um, the book, it doesn't feel completely original. It def there's definitely a lot of influence. But I think the team manages to bring in, I think the art is kind of what really got me hooked on this book. Uh, as much as the story is interesting, uh, it's a story that, if you've been reading comics, you may be familiar with. Uh, this definitely has a lot of uh, shades of Suicide Squad. And as we get through the art, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, I do like the power of absorption. It's kind of like a little bit like Absorbing Man, but but this is this works a little bit different. Uh, also, the, the individuals that gain power are very, it's a very specific set of individuals that can get this power. Um, and I do enjoy having a Latinx uh, protagonist in a book. Uh, although I think uh, at some point we may be ready to move on from uh, origin stories that begin with our Latinx protagonist, you know, coming from prison or something like that. Um, that was one of the things that didn't click fully for me, uh, but I'm willing to see where it goes uh, just based on the premise of like, Okay, this is an underground government agency. As you can see here, I mean, if you're not seeing the Suicide Squad influence, then you probably have not read Suicide Squad. Uh, but as you know, like I said, uh, I'm definitely willing to uh, take the leap here and just kind of keep going with the book and check it out. Uh, this is probably something I will trade weight. Uh, I do want to highlight this page. This is one of the, the, like, this is one of the pages that really feels like comics. Uh, here we have the government agent, uh, one of the test subjects, and of course the greedy government general uh, trying to take advantage and you know showing how they can control these people. Uh, so the concept is very interesting as far as like the individuals that can get powers with this new, uh, I'll call it medicine for lack of a better word. Um, they they specifically have to come from this neighborhood because of the certain radiation they've been exposed to, which can be seen as a commentary on like some of these neighborhoods not being built on, you know, like being polluted or living in areas where uh, they may be, uh, where where people that live there may just be living in dangerous, dangerous areas that, you know, maybe they shouldn't be living in because of exposure to different things, whether it be contamination, radiation, or something like that. But they have no other choice because that's the only place they can live. Um, so I was definitely hooked by that premise. Um, I will show you one more uh, art. And like I said, the art would really did it for me here when Max kind of 
finds out what he signed up for. You see all these individuals uh, as they learn and gain their their powers. Uh, but but I mean, this is very by the numbers, right? Alpha, beta, gamma, like these are the subjects. Like this is all. I feel like there was maybe a little bit like one more step, especially having so many people on the writing team. I don't know. There was that was the one thing that didn't fully click for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna give this another shot when I tr when the trade comes out. Um, I'm definitely interested to see what happens with this book because it it feels like I said it feels like an attempt to bring this to the the big screen or the TV or something like that. Uh, so I want to see if if stuff like this is successful because I think comics is a great avenue for a broader audience. So. I'm very invested. As you can see, our protagonist could look like John Leguizamo, uh, especially in the main cover, I think. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think uh, of Phenom X. Um, like I said, I I had a good time reading the first issue, uh, but it's not something I would read month to month. Um, so if you pick it up and you enjoy it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you have some of the same uh, issues or concerns that I do, I would also love to hear that feedback. I do, I do like that uh, celebrities are getting more involved in the industry, but I just hope that what it does is really bring it to the mainstream as opposed to them just kind of, you know, taking advantage of some a quick opportunity. So I don't know. I'm being very cynical here just because, um, you know, comics feels like sometimes they, they get a little bit um, utilized by outsiders just, you know, for their own purposes. Um, maybe outsiders isn't the right word, but yeah, I want to make sure that these creators just really want to tell a cool story uh, and find an audience. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. Um, we just had a live show uh, to celebrate 400 subs. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, I think it was really fun. We'll have more comic reviews, uh, movie reviews, TV, trailer reactions, all that good stuff in the channel. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.